Today we will be going through an installation of a TeamSpeak 3 server on Debian 9. I'm going to be following instructions published by Magic Johnson, which they are very solid. This right here is going to tell the system not to ask you like first name, last name, ETC questions. This is going to say we don't want the, the TeamSpeak user to have a password. So we'll run that and it created that. So now we're going to create a directory and just call it op or we're going to create the directory opt and within there team speak so once we do that we want to the we want to change the ownership to the team speak uh, account that we just created or the user and now we will we're going to chmod this shit to 770 um, and we should should be able to use nano. Let's check. Yep, we have nano. So we're going to we're going to go ahead. Whoops, we're going to nano this file, and within it, we are going to insert some code. And and this this configuration information is going to be published down below. So control O and then control x and that should have written to that and now we should be able to use chmod that we should do system ctl daemon reload and we're going to enable the service so now that we have that service started we are ready to go at this point in time, we're going to launch via sudo and within this at the very bottom Oops. Okay. So right here. I'm going to put this. just like this okay so th this all this shit is going to be down in the bottom too so now we need to download and install okay so at this point we're just going to basically now will you get the latest and then tar xvf there we go and at this point what we're going to do is move basically everything over to this directory and then we should be able to just remove all that crap so we should be able to go in here and just look and yes we have everything in there that we need so the cool part now i guess is we can actually switch over to the teamspeak account so i guess this, that. oh fucking a Okay, and then we should be able to just start this. That's good. Perfect. So the server server should be up and running. And by doing some of those modifications there and launching the TS3 server as a, a different user account, you, you already are running your server much safer than like probably 99% of TeamSpeak server admins because running your server as root... Um, just just a bad idea and i know that they give warnings and shit but they actually uh, i feel like the documentation or at least like maybe like an auto install that automatically creates a user account that that, that would be fucking cool <laughs>